I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Okie Doggy. In the classic Japanese fairy tale of Momotaro, about which we'll be hearing much more in the coming weeks, the boy hero is joined on his quest by three animal companions. The first of these is a dog, who in some tellings attempts to rob Momotaro, but the hero wins his respect and shares his rations. While in the common child-friendly versions, the dog is immediately friendly and offers to join Momotaro in exchange for some of his dango. More about that later too. The animal companions of Momotaro don't have individual names. One of the possible regions for Japan claimed as the setting of the story is Inuyama near Nagoya, a name which means Dog Mountain. The mountain and the castle atop it are still there, but the story behind that name is lost to time, so perhaps it was named after the legendary hero's dog. Okie Doggy, or Okie Doggy, is the first of the so-called Loyal Three, a trio of legendary Pokémon inspired by Momotaro's animal companions. Our first impression of the Pokémon comes from a Power Ranger-esque festival mask, as well as a shrine and various artwork, all giving the impression of some kind of hero. When we finally meet the monster, the story is a little different. Okie Doggy is a poison and fighting type, a hulking, muscular humanoid with a dog's face and smug grin. It wears a purple chain as a neckerchief, and this is key to its ability Toxic Chain, allowing a 30% chance of poisoning on all physical attacks. Pokemon Scarlet tells us, After all its muscles were stimulated by the toxic chain around its neck, Okie Doggy transformed and gained a powerful physique. Well, Pokemon Violet tells us, Okie Doggy is a ruffian with a short temper. It can pulverize anything by swinging around the chain on its neck. Kitakami is nowhere near the real world Inuyama, instead being based on the northernmost regions of Japan's main island of Honshu. The prefecture of Akita is found in this area, home to the dog breed of the same name. Often seen wearing fetching neckerchiefs, Okidogi resembles one of these lovable dogs, especially when in its white and green shiny form. The name Okidogi is of course a pun on the phrase Okidoki and the word dog. The Japanese name Ieinu combines Inu, dog, with Ine, which best translates to yeah, yeah, right. Both these names hint to Okidogi's place as a yes man. It and the other two of the loyal three have the species name Retainer Pokemon. A hint that another mythical Pokemon may be lurking behind the scenes. We'll delve deeper into the in-game lore and the myths which inspired them over the coming weeks, but for now, we can appreciate that a generation with multiple new dogs, and a region with so many dogs overall, in a game where one dog was key to a heartwarming story, has a new dog legendary Pokemon. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromey. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing, and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays. Funding is provided by my lovely listeners. If you'd like to join them to help keep the show online and find other podcasts by me and my pals, head over to patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Coming up are Monkey Dory and Pheasantipity, so if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, hit me up with a DM at LukeLovesPKMN or an email to LukeLovesPKMN at gmail.com. And of course, I'd love if you could leave a 5-star rating and review on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Okie Doggy, and remember, I love you too.